Hey guys, I'm sure you can think of a time when you've compromised yourself in a relationship. What if we told you you could avoid that? Curious? Keep watching. Keep watching. The Naked Truth, episode 111. Hi everyone, my name is Coach Wolf and this is Tara and we are from Soul Intentions. And we work with men and women who want happier relationships filled with more love, trust, and fun on a daily basis. Welcome to this episode of The Naked Truth, where we have real talk about your real life relationship problems. Today on The Naked Truth, we're going to be talking about clear boundaries. And I know that clear boundaries can get a little confusing, but by the time we're done, it's going to make a lot of sense. We have three quick and easy tools for you Mm -hmm. to use today to help you make those clear boundaries leading to happier, more awesome, fulfilling relationships. Absolutely. All right, so tool number one, that is a strong hell yes and a strong hell no. And you're probably saying to yourself, what the hell does that mean? Well, a strong hell yes is when your body leans into it because it's enjoying it. A strong hell no, your body will pull away as if you need to go in a different direction and mock it even. Exactly. And the strong hell yes, that's when you're in a conversation, you're talking to another person or in a situation, and you're feeling engaged, you're lit up, you're juiced up, you're, you're leaning in because you want more of it. Now the hell no, that's what our clients, they seem to have a little bit more of a struggle identifying. But you know damn well, try not to swear here, but you know very well when you're like starting to shut down, get uncomfortable, disengaging, getting a little bored with the situation. You feel it in your gut a lot of the times. I know that when it happens to me, I get this really interesting feeling in my belly. Um, You can feel it in your chest. You can feel it in many different places. Believe me, the key here is to listen to your body, be real aware, because it tells you 150% when you're in a strong hell no or in a strong hell yes. And just make sure you're not saying hell no or hell yes outside. I guess, yes, you could, but hell no, that's just a cue to you, an internal gentle nudge to start shifting the energy, shift the situation. And when she says shift, it's a physical thing, really. Stand up if you're sitting, Um, walk if you're standing still, anything like that, just any kind of movement will automatically shift either one of those things for you to give you enough time to be able to know what to, how to respond to the situation. Exactly. And so that's your strong hell yes and your strong hell no. Absolutely. All right. Now we're moving on to tool number two. Mm. Use your words. This is my favorite because it is so important for people to understand how to communicate with each other. And using your words, believe it or not, is the number one way to do that. I know it's shocking that you have to speak to communicate, (laughs) but a lot of us are, we're depending on our partners to be mind readers and just know how we're feeling. They're not mind readers. They're not. And if that's what you're depending on, you're going to be disappointed 100% of the time usually. And I'm sure a lot of you know what that's like because... (laughs) I know that I've been accused of that myself, thinking that she knows what the hell I want, and half of the time she doesn't. Exactly. I mean, you're so concerned about figuring out what's going on for you. Other people are doing the same exact thing. So their primary focus isn't what's going on in your head. Mm -hmm. That's when you need to use your words, and you can't have clear boundaries if you're not properly explaining to somebody what's going on for you, what you need, what's okay, what's not okay. (laughs) Say hello to our cat. This is Neela. (laughs) And, she and this is how she's using her words. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now that we have Neela situated, since she so greatly used her nonverbal words, <laughs> we can get back to you how you use yours. See how that works? <laughs> yeah. So you can get what you want when you use your words. Absolutely. We find a lot of times our clients don't use their words. And when we ask them why, they usually always say because they don't want the confrontation that comes with it. And what exactly does that mean? I mean, you don't want confrontation Sure, I get that. But if you don't verbalize what's bothering you, what's not bothering you, what you need, what you don't need, how is this other person ever going to know how to approach you or satisfy what it is that you're needing at the moment? Exactly. And you don't have to be confrontational. If you build it up in your head that it's going to be confrontational and you hold it in, it's going to end up coming out confrontational. It'll boil up to a point where it just spills out or you'll get passive aggressive because you can't hold it in anymore. All these things that chip away at your relationships and give you the exact opposite outcome of what you're looking for. Yeah, and you really don't want anything that's gonna chip away at your relationship at any given point. So use your words. Use them wisely and use them kindly. 
Yes, kindly is important. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and you'll be able to draw those healthy boundaries and have greater relationships. Bye, Mila. Bye, Mila. <laughs> and the third tool we have for you today is using your partner as an ally instead of the enemy. We're commonly seeing our clients have an us against them mentality where it's them against their partner in a situation instead of the two of you versus the problem. And as like Tara said earlier, you don't want anything that's going to chip away at your relationship at any given point. Absolutely not. You want to do this together. Absolutely. That's the point of a relationship to begin with. So an easy way to do this, if you're kind of feeling off or weird in a situation or even a little bit pissed off or uncomfortable, instead of verbalizing that, try verbalizing, I'm feeling a little off right now. Can you help me out? Because as soon as you do that, you're employing your partner as an ally. They're going to be like, oh, she wants me to help her out. Um, she needs me. It puts them in a position mm -hmm. where they're wanted, needed, and they're useful instead of they're a problem for you. Exactly. And it also gives you the proper pause you need to know what to do next for you, for them, and for the situation. And, and that's the key in anything that you do with relationships in, of any kind is that you want to create some level of pause when there's um, uncomfortableness, uncomfortableness going, on. going on. So that you have that moment to then shift into something that's more positive and more powerful for you. So we come to the close of another episode of The Naked Truth. Yeah. So to have a little wrap up here for clear healthy boundaries, number one, strong hell yes and a strong hell no. Number two, use your words. And third and finally, your partner is your ally, not your enemy. So use it all wisely. And we promise you, you'll have clearer, healthier boundaries for clearer, happier relationships. And we'll leave you with these parting words. Have a great day. Bye. <laughs>